Pastor James, Jesus is coming soon, and I know that he's going to rapture the church, but I'm scared I might get left behind. Yep, I hear that statement quite a bit, folks. Believe it or not, this is a real fear that Christians have, and oftentimes that fear exists because of really bad teaching or non-existent teaching in some cases, and here's the reason why. First of all, we know the rapture is real. Second, we know, according to the Bible, that the rapture is going to take place before the tribulation actually starts. Third, we know that the rapture will happen to anybody who is a believer, whether or not they even believe in the rapture. To be honest, If you are a person who has received Jesus Christ into your life, you've proclaimed him with your mouth, you've believed in your heart, you know that he is God, you've accepted him as your Messiah, I promise you, you will not be left behind in the rapture. Now, there's a lot of people who say, well, here's the deal, Uh, I've been acting up and I haven't really been walking with the Lord and so on and so forth. Well, repent, get right. And here's the thing, as people oftentimes say, well, if you're not walking right with the Lord, you're not going to get raptured. Well, that might be true if you're actually not really walking with the Lord and you don't have a relationship with him. But if you have a relationship with him, you have nothing to worry about. Now, some of you might say, well, great, that's my license to go ahead and uh, sin and kind of do whatever I want. Well, then you should probably go back and wonder or consider, am I really even a believer? Has my life been transformed? Here's the reality, folks. We worship God and we serve him because he first loved us, because he saved us with his work, because he's God. And we get excited about what's in front of us because we know he's the one that's done the work for us. We are most definitely going to be raptured when that time comes. And believe me, folks, that time is coming a lot sooner than anybody wants to think. Understand this. That when the rapture takes place, that means the church age is finished. It's a wrap. It's over. And when the rapture happens, there will begin a period of time, not quite the tribulation, but a period of time represented by this sort of all-inclusive, the tribulation and everything else, where God is going to be dealing with the Jews. Now, I say once we get raptured, the tribulation isn't going to start right away. I mean, I think it'll start pretty soon. Because what has to happen is Christians must be raptured in order for the Antichrist to actually be revealed on this earth. Think about that for a second. And then once the Antichrist is revealed, the tribulation won't even start until he confirms the the, the covenant. (laughs) The covenant that's actually talked about in Daniel chapter 9 verse 27. It's interesting because it appears when it says confirm the covenant, it means make it strong, meaning it's something that's already going to be there and he's going to make it strong. And when that moment in time actually takes place, we know that the tribulation will start. And at the three and a half year mark of that tribulation, we know that's when the Antichrist will set himself in the temple and demand to be worshipped while making sure nobody can buy or sell unless they have the mark of the beast that's on their forehead or the right hand. The bottom line is this, you are going to miss all of that, Christians, because you will be raptured and you will not be subject to it. So if you're worried about whether or not you're going to get raptured, the question is not whether or not you're going to get raptured. The question should be, am I walking with Jesus Christ? And if the answer is yes, Bam, you got nothing to worry about. Everything's going to be okay. But understand this, Jesus is coming soon and it's about time we get to work. Don't forget what's happening. Don't forget what's coming around the corner. Jesus is coming for his church. So let's get ready. God bless you.